Hey, what's happening YouTube? Chris Gardner here. Today I am going to show you how we can add uh, Zenith or Nadir patch to your 360 panoramas and how you can actually build that yourself uh, maybe easier than you are expecting. So we're going to walk through that process right here. I'm starting with uh, this 360 photo captured with my drone DJI Mini 2 this week. Um, I've got a video tutorial about how to go from the images to get something like this, a really nice high-res version, higher than the drone itself spits out, um, typically around 50 megapixels. So this is what I'm going to be working with, and let's just get into it. So we're starting with the full view, and one of the first steps we actually do to complete this is related to making one of those tiny planet or you know little world panoramas you've seen so the way we do that i'm going to change the image size and whatever number is here i'm just going to type that right in here so we wind up with a square and this needs to be off so that uh, it stretches the image and doesn't constrain portions proportions okay so it's resizing working on my m1 apple mini i've uh, been on this for about a year okay so here we are from here, all we are going to do is, you know, just think about how big you want your patch to be. So how much of, of the information is it going to cover up? Uh, the stuff that is in the very bottom of the frame is directly below the camera. The stuff that's in the very top of the frame is directly above the camera. You need to, you need to have your, your patch on either one of these and it needs to extend the full, the full dimension. So I'm going to grab a shape rectangle tool. I want to set it to pixels in this case and just to make something that is compatible with lots of different panoramas I'm gonna make it white maybe you want to do a funky color you can set that here all right so we have that oh sorry that's wrong I want to start a new layer okay and then I'm gonna put this here all right so now we hide this in fact let's get rid of those we don't need them anymore Keep in mind, if you are working on your original photo, you should save a copy here uh, and then work on that. You know, you don't want to be accidentally destroying your panorama. You work so hard to stitch. So now we have the size of our patch. We want to go like this. Filter, distort, polar coordinates, and we are going rectangular to polar. As you can tell, you know, we drew a rectangle and we are trying to go to something that is uh, better represented by a globe projection. So this is now the size of our patch. Uh, and in here we can essentially put whatever we want. All right, and just like that. All right, and so now we have two layers. I actually don't need to separate them uh, at any point after this step. So I'm going to go Command and E merges them into a single layer and that's nice and easy for us so let's bring it back to a polar or sorry a rectangular image so we're just going to basically undo what we just did we went rectangular to polar first now we're going to go back polar to rectangular and as you can see we've got this really weird looking text stretched out at the top and now let's grab that all right so command a command c command w uh, no, let's not close it yet and there we go so from here uh, and because we stretched it this way at the start we're just going to reverse that step by stretching it all the way at the end and when you are stretching it you might not be able to see but there is a tiny little purple line it means it's locked to the edge of the frame and you want to make sure you have that because um, without it the E or, you know, whatever happens to be at the edge here will not properly line up with what's at the edge there if, if they're not perfectly at uh, the, the first and last pixels. So there we have it. Now let's uh, give that uh, Command-Shift-E for flatten and we will give it a Command-Shift-S for save as and then I'm going to show it to you in a tour viewer and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so here we are. We've got the image saved, and I am just going to bring it into Kula. That's a I like using this place to just show single panoramas here and there. Can also use something like Facebook or whatever you uh, are already comfortable with. 
All right, it's just imported uh, into Kula. Now let's just have a little look and look at that. The text, no distortion, everything lines up. And that is exactly what I, I think you might be looking for. So that is exactly what, you know, if I was making a new one right now, that's exactly what I'm, I'm trying to do. I don't want any distortion up here. I just want to be able to control it. I don't want to have to send it out to, you know, a Fiverr. I think you, I've seen people offering this kind of thing as a service, um, but it's actually, you know, as you saw, five, five minutes, two minutes even, if you are well prepared. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and more videos on the way soon. Give this one a like or a share if you found it helpful or think it might help someone else.